Cam with uh, Joe Tate, City's latest signing. Welcome to the club, Joe. Uh, tell us how the move has come about. Yeah, I think it, uh, it all happened quite quickly, really. Um, I think obviously uh, Big Tom Allen went down injured. Um, I spoke to Martin and Sean, and um, listen, look, it's, it's something I was really interested in, uh, in pursuing. And yeah, it kind of happened quite quickly. Coming on a Monday, uh, obviously played on the Thursday night against Leeds, and, and yeah, here we are today. Had you had a period in the summer where you were uncertain about your future direction? Yeah, I was, to be fair, yeah. Um, you know, there was a possibility of going abroad. Um, but listen, look, I mean, as soon as I heard of the interest in York, I think, you know, the club speaks for itself. So it was something I was really, really keen to, to pursue. You mentioned abroad. You've uh, you'd played overseas. Uh, just tell us about that chapter in your career. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. And I think it was something I was going to I was going to pursue again. I was I, 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 I was definitely interested in, uh, in seeing what options were out there. Um, but yeah, I, I listen. Look, I've, I loved every minute out there, and I think you know the lifestyle really helped me. But um, look, I'm, uh, I'm delighted to be at York City, and I think uh, it's a fantastic opportunity for me and, and the football club. I think you know uh, I can't wait to get going. You're joining us from Spennymore Town. Mm -hmm. How do you look back on your time there? Oh, listen, I had a fantastic four years at Spennymore, and I mean I'll be forever, forever indebted to to the chairman Brad Groves, who, who you know he's done he's done unbelievable things for me and. Um, yeah, I, I had a fantastic four years there. I think I was a bit inconsistent last year with performance on the pitch. Um, but yeah, look, um, you know, two promotions, a few fantastic cup runs, um, and you know, yeah, I leave, I leave with a heavy heart, and I wish them all the best. Looking at your statistics from your time there, you played over 100 games mm. and scored 31 goals. That's quite a lot for a centre back. I, I mean, listen, look, I think. Uh, I nicked the penalties at one point, um, but yeah, look, um, I like to attack the ball. Uh, I like to get get on the end of things and you know try and try and be a bit of a nuisance um, from from set players. So listen, look, I think my the priority for me is keeping clean sheets and making sure that we're solid. Um, but yeah, look, I love chipping in with a goal or two. Looking back to the uh, friendly against Leeds, obviously you were you were thrown in at the deep end. You were trialless on the team sheet. Scored a goal. Quite an evening for you, that wasn't it? Uh, listen, yeah, it was. I mean, look, it was my me, me first 45 minutes since the back end of last season. So yeah, it was a it was a difficult night in terms of uh, you know getting used to playing playing football again. Um, but you know the, the quality that we have in this dressing room. You know, I mean, playing alongside the boys that I did, I think you know it just uh, it puts you at ease and the the uh, they really help you through the game. And you know, I think that that showed. I think we were quite solid on the night, and yeah, it was a, it was a fantastic experience to play against Leeds United. Yeah. Tell us about your relationship with Martin Gray. You've worked with him before, and you had success at Darlington with him. Yeah, I did. Um, listen, look, I've uh, I've made I've, I've made it clear that you know he's the he's the best manager that I've ever worked under. Um, you know, I think just coming into the training ground and seeing the standards that him and Sean Gregan have, uh, have set, the professionalism of the of the players and how they buy into the ethos that that he set. Um, you know, I know what he's all about, and uh, you know, you, you can't have too many bad games, otherwise you will be out on your feet. So I think he's someone who definitely gets the best out of me, and uh, I really hope I, I can repay the faith that he's shown in me by bringing this by bringing me to this football club. So looking to the season ahead, what do you think York can achieve this season? I mean, look. You know, I think uh, the expectations of the football club are, are to go and win promotion, and I think looking at the looking at the squad that we've got, um, you know, that's that's got to be the aim. And um, from a selfish point of view, uh, I want to win the league. Um, obviously, um, you know, it's going to be we're going to have tough times. It's, it's going to be difficult. There's a there's a lot of good teams in this league, but yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, I think uh, promotion's got to be the aim. And have you settled in well in the new dressing room? Do you know a few players? I know a few of the boys, yeah. Um, and listen, look, it's a, it is a fantastic dressing room. The standards, um, you know, the blues away, to be fair. Um, you know, the professionalism of the of the lads and yeah, the, the whole characters. It's it's uh, it's a great place to be at the minute. So um, you know, final preparations tomorrow before a big week ahead where we need to hit the ground running against Charlie away. Is it fair to say that Callum Griffiths is one of your closest friends? He is one of my closest friends, and you know he's also probably the best right back I've played with. Um, I probably wouldn't tell him that because, uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a fantastic lad to have on and off the field, and um, he'll, uh, he'll be a great asset to this club. He did actually ask me to throw a question in for this interview. That's a shock. He said, "What's going on with the band?" Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, yeah, I've had a few of that. You know, I just, I, I'm not sure whether I should get a cut yet. Um, believe it or not, it's actually got a lot better. I, I, I got a cut while I was away in America, and I, I think I'll save that photo for uh, for the Christmas card. So, uh, that's great, Joe. Thanks brilliant. A lot. Thank you very much Thank you. indeed. He's he's a kid with a great age, great experience. Somebody I've worked with in the past, and uh, you know he's. Uh, he gives you exactly what you want as a leader. He's a real, you know, he's a natural leader. Very, very, very vocal, which you know the fans will see. And uh, you know, he's just a real strong, strong 
individual and uh, as a character, uh, you know, he brings an awful lot. I guess his performance against Leeds United impressed you. Yeah, listen, I've, as I said to you, I've had Joe for a few years and, you know, in my days at Darlington as a, as a manager and getting promotions with him, somebody that I really trust uh, as a person and uh, he's going on to do very, very well at this level for Spanimore, uh, but he's probably ready for the new challenge uh, and again, the full-time football, which he's, he's had in the past and uh, he's travelled around the world, you know, playing football, he's not, you know, he's, he's, he's got real ambition and uh, this has probably come at a good age in his career as well. Is he another big character? You seem to be assembling a dressing room full of good characters this summer. Yeah, we, we need leaders, we need winners, we need personalities. Uh, and with the players that we brought in, you know, we, we, we've got a lot of that now. Competition for places at centre-back looks good now, but the Tom Allen situation, has that influenced this move in some way? No, no, just we were always looking to strengthen all areas and uh, when this opportunity came along, we, we some of that we were always interested in. Will that be it now for uh, summer signings or anything else up the uh, sleeve? Yeah, uh, you know, we, we're really looking forward to the season now. You know, we, we feel like we've got everything in place and, uh, you know, we've got to make sure that we finish off pre-season very, very strong uh, on Friday night and then get ready for the following Saturday for, uh, for a fantastic season. Mm -hmm.